going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Cosity Show. Today we're going to talk about Ron Jeremy. Not exactly about Ron Jeremy, but we're going to talk about his uh, mugshot. Before we get to the mugshot, Ron Jeremy's always been a little skeptical guy. He's an adult film star and did some TV shows as well too. If you don't know what an adult film star is, it's porn. He did porn. For those of you who are my age, he's pretty much considered a Johnny Sins. He could be a lawyer, a doctor, a firefighter, a policeman, a mailman, a delivery guy, a pizza delivery guy, an Amazon worker. He pretty much did it all. Wink, wink. John Jeremy is now in police custody for multiple sexual misconducts. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to discuss this. At 67 years of age, this guy literally aged like ball sack. Not even enough words to come up with how this dude even looks now. You just saw the picture of what he looked like when he was a little bit more spry and younger with the ladies. But what the hell is this? He literally looks like a zombie. You might as well think that he is a zombie in this. I'm glad they're protecting him from COVID-19 because he's got a space mask on his neck beard. You see the mustache is still here as well too. Hey my god, were they giving him a cavity search in the middle of this? Anyways, now that you guys are more familiar with Ron Jeremy, here's his mugshot. Let's take a look what social media thinks. Bree Cohen, Ewees, did anyone notice his face mask only pulled down but still on? They probably didn't want to take their chances catching anything he may have. I mean, it's absolutely disgusting that this dude literally has aged the way he has. Honestly, he was better off just keeping the mask on because if I saw this dude in the middle of the street somewhere, I wouldn't even know what it was Ron Jeremy. I'm not sure what it is with the adult industry, but these dudes literally aged terribly. Must be like all like the pills they're all hopped up on stuff back in the early 20s and 30s and now just comes to ruin their bodies once they reach 60. I gotta side with Bree though, if I'm the uh, detective or the officer taking the pictures and all this stuff like that, you keep the mask on or put it around your neck, but I'm not coming over there to remove that off your face. It's almost like if COVID-19 was an actual person, this is what it would look like. It would literally look like Ron Jeremy's mugshot. All I know is that this dude's gonna be a hell of a catch in prison. Michael Pluta, let's be honest. Outside of the porn, this guy would never get laid. Michael, brother, you are 110% correct. I know a lot of girls that are my age, and I know for a fact none of them would even go near him with a 10-foot pole. You know how much money you gotta pay a female to get with him? To get with that? Are you serious? The dude wasn't even a good-looking dude from the start. You know, this isn't no Frico Suave or, you know, any big sexy man or flow of hair or anything like that. He's literally just the... I don't even know, the version of just like, I don't know, a wet, hairy, sloppy guy if you were just to see him as a regular dude. This just comes to show you what money can do inside the right positions. Mick Tavella, when he was on the VH1 show, The Surreal Life, he seemed like a pretty together guy. Smart, funny, cool, oh well, innocent until proven guilty. Alright, see? Mick, you see the TV personality side of him, because he was a side made some appearances in TV programming. He did make regular appearances in TV shows. However, I'm not getting political in this at all, this is strictly to this mugshot that we're looking at. But all I'm gonna say is, in the adult film industry, when you're punching your time clock and you're on film and you're on set, great. If you're gonna do anything off the clock, not on set, and, you know, you decide to use your fame to get what you want, usually doesn't end very well for you. And of course Ron Jeremy was a funny and cool guy. If I was in the adult film industry, I'd be a funny and cool guy. I mean, who wouldn't love a job where all you can do is just show up to work and just show up and do these erotic scenes? You know, come to think of it now, I don't think I'd be too bad in the adult porn industry. You know, maybe get a uh, two-year contract and then I'll retire right after. I don't know. But then again, I think I'm all set because I don't want to age like this dude. James McCall looks like he got all sorts of ex-bacteria. See, I'm telling you, I'm not the only one who thinks this. Just look at the guy. Like I said, he looks like if coronavirus was a person. If COVID-19 was seriously a person just going around touching you and getting all over you and getting you sick, that's exactly what would be getting you sick. Just look at him. It looks like he just mutates just the person to person, just like the numerous of females he's been with. But to be honest with you, the adult film industry is pretty much one of the cleanest industries to work in, actually. Regular STD testing before all scenes, controlled sexual environments, controlled lighting, controlled temperature, everything is controlled on set. I may or may not be looking for a career inside this as we speak. And don't forget, he's 67 years of age. 67! I know 67 year olds are still running marathons. 
that's going to wrap it up for today's show. Be sure to come back for tomorrow's show, 8 p.m. on the East, 5 p.m. on the West. Hope you guys enjoyed Ron Jeremy's mugshot here, which I can't even believe I even did a video on. But hey, it was on TMZ, so why not? Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You laughed at all. Comment your thoughts on the mugshot down below as well, too. Be safe out there. Peace out, guys.